Welcome back to Decked Out. On today's episode, we are joined by Z main character and Zabricus for a very special secret lair episode that was voted on by our patrons. So each player has brought to the table a cosplay and commander deck that matches their favorite Princess Bride character. As always, thank you to our sponsors, Tales of Adventure, Ultimate Guard, and Moxfield, and today's episode sponsor, Nerd Gear, but more on all of them later in the video. That's enough from us. Let's go ahead and meet the players. Hey there, I'm Zavrakis. Um, I am an MTG content creator of all trades and cosplayer, and today I'm cosplaying not only Buttercup from The Princess Bride, but she is my commander. Uh, Buttercup Provincial Princess is actually Sisse Weatherlight Captain, and... Whew, she is scary. Basically, you know, she I just get lots of legendary creatures and put them on the battlefield and make everyone else's life terrible by just having a lot of really giant legendary creatures. This commander, uh, Buttercup Provincial Princess, was submitted by Patron Whale, and I am so excited to play it. I love Sisse Weatherlight Captain. I love Buttercup. It's going to be legend. Wait for it. Dairy. Hello everybody, I am Z main character. You all know me as Z. You might have seen my little funny shorts about our favorite game, The Magic of the Gathering, around the internet. I am playing Anigo, Avenging Swordsman, and anytime that a commander has double strike, you know it's doing double duty, so we're doing some Tron stuff today. And I love Tron stuff. I'm Wesley, the cruel dread pirate Roberts, and today I've brought a poison deck to the table, but I have a trick up my sleeve. I'm immune to poison, but my opponents won't be. I'm Miracle Max, and it's really Marchesa of the Black Rose. But I don't know why wizards put unemployed, because I have a job, and it's to bring creatures back from the graveyard. Because if they have a plus one plus one counter on them, they're only mostly dead. And if I gain control of my opponent's creatures and then they die, then they come back under my control, because that's the way that I'm worded. Today's episode is brought to you by the Commander Essentials Kit Kickstarter by Nerd Girl. Veggie, it's Nerd Gear, I told you. These command zone trays by Nerd Girl are the perfect way to organize and declutter your commander table. Nerd Gear. And they are professionally manufactured and finished by Nerd Girl herself and include custom knife trackers and acrylic dice. The Nerd Gear. Essentials Commander Kit comes with four different colors for the commander tray, as well as comes with its own felt carrying case. And because the Kickstarter has been fully backed and all of the stretch goals have been reached, it also comes with some really cool perks like exclusive tokens and a felt token carrying case. And this Kickstarter runs through March 18th. So from the date we release this episode, you'll have seven days to back this Kickstarter. You can find a link down below in the description as well as in the comments. And you can see the Commander Essentials Kit in action in today's episode right now. Let's get into the game, brought to you by Nerd Girl. Thank you, Nerd Gear, for the opportunity. Let's uh, roll to see who goes first. All right. 13. 14? 14. 16. Ooh. Mm, Ooh. Let's go. We almost had a fun, like, tie battle. Right. I'll take second. Let's play some magic. All right. Good to go. Let's do this. I'm gonna start with a very cursed first play. I'm gonna play planes. I'm gonna tap it. I'm gonna play an Esper Sentinel. Esper Sentinel is a artifact creature human soldier. Whenever an opponent casts their first non-creature spell each turn, draw a card unless that player pays X, where X is Esper Sentinel's power. All right, uh, I got a simple play. We're just gonna go forest into an elvish mystic. Let's me tap for a forest. I'll pass turn. All right. I am going to play a Verdant Catacombs, and then I am going to pay one life and sacrifice it. Gotta find a forest, hold please. So I will fetch a Temple Garden, and I will let it enter untapped, so I will take two more damage. Boop, boop. Farm boy, shuffle my deck for me. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> <laughs> Your entire deck just shuffles. Yep. <laughs> and then I will tap Temple Garden for Noble Hierarch. Zero one creature with exalted, meaning that whenever a creature you control attacks alone, that creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. And I can tap it to add green, white, or blue mana. But wait, there's more. I'm also going to cast Mox Amber. Oh, you can. I cannot. So no. Uh, pass. Am I supposed to have a turn one play? Yeah. <laughs> I will play this river glide pathway 
uh, and leave that mana up to pay for Esper Sentinel on pass a turn. Spire Garden. And I think that I will just, now that I have green, do what green does and ramp. We'll play Nature's Lore, which is search your library for a forest card, put that card into the battlefield, then shuffle. I got Jetmere's Garden. It comes in tapped. And with that, I'm feeling very good about my mana base here. I will go ahead and pass the turn. I'm going to start with a Rogue's Passage, and I'm going to go ahead and just get started. And uh, the Dread Pyre Roberts is coming out. Oh. A 1-3 with Death Touch. That says, whenever a creature I control with Death Touch deals combat damage to a player, they get two poison counters. So people can die real, real quick. And then I'm going to tap Elvish Mystic for one, and I'm going to cast a Moss Viper, a 1-1 with Death Touch. Oh, no. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and that'll be my turn. I'll pass. All right. All right play a godless shrine uh untapped so i will take two more damage life means nothing without my love wesley <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're just going triple white to bring out my commander buttercup provincial princess and uh, she's actually just sisse weather like captain she's a legendary creature human soldier she's just a tutu for now buttercup provincial princess gets plus one plus one for each color among other legendary permanents you control where i can pay one mana of each color to search my library for a legendary permanent card with mana value less than buttercup's power and i can put that card onto the battlefield then shuffle that's a lot of words it's so many words <laughs> And then I will pass. I'm just going to play a Luxury Suite and tap two for a Racto Signet and pass. Would you like to pay the one? It is all yours. Excellent. <laughs> I will go ahead and play Spectre Seating. I'm getting ever closer to getting Amigo out. But until then, I will definitely make myself a threat by tapping for one, two, and... Three, go ahead and cast Sword of Truth and Justice. Ooh. Artifact equipment, equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from white and from blue. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature you control, then proliferate. Oh, I like the proliferate. <laughs> oh, that's... You're, remember, you're on opposite sides, okay? This is... I know, I got my eyes bad. on you. Yeah. <laughs> this is bad. I do not have the means to equip it, unfortunately. Oh, good. Luckily for you all. So I will go ahead and go to combat. This isn't canon. We never fight, but I'm going to swing at you for one. 39. Yes, first blood. I'll pass the turn. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start by tapping two for a nature's lore. I get to search my library for a forest card and just put it into play. Would you like to pay the one? No. Mm -hmm. The Esper Sentinel pays way better than Mazzini. Mm. Jeez. I will grab this forest. It comes into play untapped. I'll go ahead and tap two for a Blight Mamba, a 1-1 one, one with Infect, and I can also regenerate it. And then we might as well get the poison party started, oh and gosh. we're going to go one to Veggie with my commander and one to Inigo with the Moss Viper. I need to switch to my right hand. <laughs> you guys are basically dead already. Kill me quickly. <laughs> All right. I will play an Arid Mesa, and I will... Pay one life to sacrifice it and search my library for a mountain. I'll do it this time, <laughs> but only this time. All right, I fetch for a Savi Trium, which enters the battlefield tapped. Then I will pass. I'll just play a mountain and then I'm going to pay four for me. It's Miracle Max unemployed. Uh, this is Marchesa the Black Rose. <laughs> Has dethroned if I attack the player with the highest life total, uh, then I put a plus one plus one counter on it. Other creatures I control have dethroned, and whenever a creature I control with a plus one plus one counter on it dies, I just return to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. Now all these kids, they have their poisons and their double strikes and their tutors. And me, I've just got counters, so it's going to take me a little while longer to set up my stuff, and I've just got to survive until then. I'm bringing everybody back to life, so. Except uh, hopefully will. Oh, Wesley. Yeah, right. The one person that I actually bring back to life is the person I think I, I'll pass the turn. I'm only mostly dead. It's fine. <laughs> Give me an answer. That's not an answer. <laughs> go ahead and play an exotic orchard. And for no suspicious reason, I will just go ahead and pass the turn. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. We don't need to we don't need to progress the board. This is fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pay two for a dolmen gate. Ooh. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to attacking creatures I control. 
So your blocks are going to suck. Oh no. Would you like to pay the one? I would not. You can have a card. I'm going to play Champion of Lamholt, a 1-1 human warrior. Creatures with power less than the champion can't block creatures I control, so that's not relevant yet, but it will be. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, I have to put a plus one, plus one counter on it. All my damage is prevented. I'm not too worried about it. So we're going to go uh, Wesley to uh, Miracle Max, and we're going to go the Viper over to Princess Buttercup. Cool. And it has Death Touch? It does. And it will have poison? It will. Uh, no blocks. Excellent. Yeah, the four, I'm going to have to go to four poison. Four no blocks. Poison. Oh my gosh. Each of you receive one point of damage and two poison counters. So we all know who the threat is, right? Right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Pass. The Dread Pirate Roberts. <laughs> we'll play, I believe this is Windswept Heath. And then I will pay one life, sack it. All right, fetching for Jetmere's Garden. Tap red, green, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. To cast Helana and Elena, partners. It has first strike and reach, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, put X plus one plus one counters on another target creature you control, where X is Helana and Elena's power. That creature gains haste until end of turn, and it's a two, three. So Helana and Elena is great because it just works absolutely perfect with Buttercups, uh, both static and activated abilities with a plus one counter. So every turn I'm going to be able to get at least two plus one plus one counters. And I will move to combat, which triggers Helana and Elena, and I will put the counters on Buttercup. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because his power is two, I get two plus one counters on Buttercup. I will send uh, Buttercup at Wesley. And the Exalted effect actually makes this a 7-7, seven, seven, so you'll be taking seven damage. So I will take seven commander damage. And now I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, who has the most life? Oh, now it's me. Definitely yes. not me. <laughs> See, the, the problem here is that that means I have to swing at five open mana. Mm-hmm. Slow going. Just wait till I get going. <laughs> I'm gonna play this Tyrite Sanctum uh, that can turn one of my legendary creatures into a god and put a plus one plus one counter on it and then turn that god indestructible. All right, I think I'm just gonna play uh, my favorite Princess Bride character for, uh, for Danny Pink from Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a 4-3 with Mentor. Uh, when it attacks, I put a counter on a creature with less power. And all creatures I control have when one or more counters are put onto this creature for the first time each turn, I draw a card. I'm just gonna have to go to combat. Uh, and Miracle Max is going to swing at you, Z, uh, for three and the dethrone will trigger and I will put a counter on it. Oh no. And because I put a counter on it, I'll draw a card. I will go ahead and take that damage. Excellent. <laughs> See, I'm supposed to be employing you when you come at me. Unacceptable. <laughs> That's all I can do for the turn, pass. Okay, on your end step, I'm gonna go ahead and tap out and flash in. Inigo, Avenging Swordsman, which is actually Samut, Voice of Descent. Flash, Double Strike, Vigilance, and Haste. Other creatures you control have haste or I could pay white and tap it to untap another target creature. You have not killed me yet, so you don't have to prepare to die. How do you guys have so many cards in hand? I have four. All of yours are on the board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cast Black Blade Reforged. Ruh -ruh. <sighs> equip creature you Equip creature gets plus one, plus one for each land you control. To equip a legendary creature, I pay three. To equip a non-legendary, I, I pay seven. And I will indeed be paying three. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> to equip Inigo with a brand new shiny blade. I am not the six-fingered man. Please don't <laughs> hurt me. Yeah, how many cards do you have in the hand? Two. Two? No, not six. Four. Four? Six? You're working for the six-fingered man. <laughs> six, 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 I knew it. Six, six, I knew it. <laughs> you seem a decent fellow. I'd hate to kill you. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to die. And with that, please die. <laughs> So it's like 18 commander damage is what that is. Yep. yep. And if you have a pump spell or anything, I'm dead. Mm -hmm. I feel like I just need to kill someone. So we're going to just go all in with our what? with our abilities. So I'm going to block with the champion of Lamholt. And then I'm going to cast 
Obscuring Haze. If I control my commander, I can cast it without paying its mana cost, and I'll prevent all combat damage that would be dealt by creatures my opponent's control. So I just get one free turn. Wonderful. Would you like to pay the one? I can't. Okay. <sighs> Lovely. It made me very sad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? With that, I'll pass the turn. All right. Let's go ahead and start by tapping four. And we're going to refill my hand with Toski, the Bearer of Secrets. A 1-1, one, one, the spell can't be countered, and it's indestructible. Toski attacks each turn if able, and whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I get to draw a card. My opponents don't want to block my creatures because of Dolmen Gate, and I have Toski on board. I'm going to get to draw so many cards. When Toski enters, I'll get a counter onto the Champion of Lamholt. So, Inigo, I have something to tell you. I am not left-handed either. We're going to come into Inigo for four of my creatures and combat damage cannot be dealt. <laughs> oh no! To my stuff. Yours is fine. <laughs> okay. And also the Esper Sentinel can't block because of the champion. Kill me quickly. I'm going to try. <laughs> oh. So I think I will block the champion. That's all I can do. <laughs> so you will take two total damage, five poison. Step, 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 step. Also, because of cool little Toski, I'll get to draw three cards. If you don't have your health, then you don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tap the Elvish Mystic for one, and I'm going to play another Death Touch creature. I'm going to play the Gnarled Dryad, a 1-1 one, one with Death Touch and Delirium. Gets plus two, plus two, as long as there are four or more card types in my graveyard, which um, I don't have and I don't really care. I just want to uh, Death Touch you to death. Pass. All right. On your end step. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and cast a Lightning Tutor and I will search. Okay, and I am going to get uh, Dueling Grounds out of uh, Desperation and Fear. Uh, Dueling Grounds is an enchantment that no more than one creature may attack each turn, no more than one creature may block each turn. Remember me. Remember what I've done <laughs> for you. Thank you so much. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and with Toski in play, it means I can't attack with any of my Death Touchers. <gasps> Even better! <laughs> Dang it! I knew so that. Evil. Yeah, that's what so I planned evil. on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we will play a Scalding Tarn. We will sacrifice it, pay life, and search for a mountain. One of these turns, I will actually not just like search my library um, <laughs> or hurt yourself. <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and grab a steam vent, and we will shock it in. It's fine. All right, I will tap. Red, white, and black, and something to cast Queen Marquesa. Queen Marquesa has death touch and haste, and when Queen Marquesa enters the battlefield, I become the monarch. I'm truly the princess now. Or queen. Am I queen now? Oh. oh. Alternate timeline. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> At the beginning of your upkeep, if an opponent is the monarch, create a 1-1 one, one black assassin creature token with death touch and haste, and she is a 3-3. Three, three. So you did end up marrying the humper dink? God. <gasps> Women. <laughs> Look, he's got card draw, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I will tap Mox Ember for red and tap the Savai for something to cast Inti, Seneschal of the Sun. And Inti, as whenever you attack, you may discard a card. When you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on target attacking creature against Trample until end of turn. Whenever you discard one or more cards, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card until your next end step. And it's just it's a little two-two. Nothing to see here. Nothing, not a thing. So Buttercup is now eight, eight. And I will move to combat uh, with Sugar Salon and Elena, and I will target Buttercup again. Uh, so Buttercup is now a 10-10. Oh, God. I am going to send Buttercup at uh, Miraculous Max. And uh, <laughs> when it attacks, it triggers both Inti and Noble Hierarch because I'm only attacking with one creature. This becomes Exalted. So it's actually an 11-11. And uh, Inti, I may discard a card when I do, put a plus one, plus one, a counter on attacking creature. So I will discard a Polluted Delta, which makes us a 12-12. And then I exile the top card of my library and it's revealed, right? Uh, oh. oh. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. No, that's great. That's yeah, great. Yeah. Yay. Oh, <laughs> Yay. <laughs> uh, the one ring, I don't think I can play it this turn though. You have no mana. Yeah. Anyway, 12-12, uh, coming at you. Yeah, I, I, it's not worth it. I'll take 12. 
12 commander. I, yeah, okay. I, I can stop There's an out three somewhere. of it. <laughs> I'll take 12. No, All right. Yeah. All right, so I will uh, move to my end step. And pass. <gasps> Feels good to be queen. happening? Miraculous things. Don't worry, Veggie. You're only mostly dead. I feel, I feel very dead. I feel all dead. <laughs> <laughs> I need to draw cards first, so I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to swing myself, Max, and Danny Pink at Wesley. You have the most life or tied for the most, so dethrone will trigger and put a counter on each of these. I will draw two cards from Danny Pink's ability. I'm going to block the Death Toucher to Danny Pink and Toski to your commander. Okay. Danny Pink has a counter on it. It'll die to Death Touch, but it's going to get brought back at the end of turn. None of those things were what I needed. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to play an Iron Apprentice. It comes in with a counter, um, and when it dies, I can move that counter to another creature I control. I will also pay two for an Arcane Signet. Uh, I will not pay the one for that. Yes. And then I'm going to pay three for... Raids a risen nightmare. No. <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning of your end step, I can sacrifice an artifact creature or enchantment land or planeswalker. And if I do, each of you has to sacrifice one of the same thing or you lose two life and I draw a card. I'm just going to uh, go to my end step. I'm going to choose to sacrifice this Iron Apprentice. It's going to move its counter onto max and then exists off here. It's going to come back at my next end step and everybody has to sacrifice a creature or artifact. And if you don't, I draw and you lose two life. I will take the two life. <sighs> I will lose two life. I will sacrifice my noble hierarch. Nice. So you, ch you each take two damage. Yep. I draw a card for each of you. Danny Pink will return to the battlefield and I'll pass the turn. All right, I'll go ahead and play a rogue's passage. Oh, oh crap. no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Doing some shenanigans here. This is worrisome. I did fetch this enchantment. I was kind of hoping you'd forget about it. <laughs> I was really hoping you wouldn't. But if you don't cast it, I can put some damage in on Veggie, who's doing some mean things now. This is true. Me? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can easily just trample him again. That's fair. All three players are pretty scared of me, but... I don't think I'm actually that big of a threat compared to the other big things on the board, like Buttercup, Veggie's going to do all sorts of crazy things, and Inigo is huge. One shot kill any player. I'm terrified of you, though, because I'm at seven poison counters. You did start. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead, and I'm going to equip Inigo with Sword of Truth and Justice. So Inigo now has uh, an additional plus two, plus two, and has protection from white and from blue. Whenever a equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature you control, then proliferate. Um, and I will go to combat. Um, well, actually, I'll go ahead and tap four and activate Rogue's Passage. Inigo cannot be blocked. Huh. And I'm coming for you. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to die, but I think that's lethal. I do indeed think it's lethal. <laughs> My poor Wesley. I can't see you. It was you. me all along. Yeah, 12 double striking. <laughs> Can we take oh a moment God. to appreciate the image of Inigo just with two swords, <laughs> flaming swords from Magic the Gathering just coming at you? All right, so that would be 24 commander damage, and I am dead. Let's go. And then because I have double strike, I actually get to do it again. So Inigo now has plus four, plus four. And I'm going to decide to proliferate your poison counters twice. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Cool, so I have six. I am also at six. Awesome, yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's good to know that I live on. Right. Everything's fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, uh, well, there is a new threat. Okay, well, I will play an exotic orchard for land. Um, all right, so we will tap to activate Buttercup's ability to search my library for a legendary permanent card with mana value less than Buttercup's power. Sleeves get in the way. All right, and I search for Lauren of the Third Path, and it will enter the battlefield. And when Lauren of the Third Path enters the battlefield, I get to destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment. <laughs> so I'm going to target the sort of something and something. Yes. Aww. Get that something and something out of here. <laughs> That's something something out. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So he's a little less A scary. little more reasonable. A little, just a little. Okay. 
Uh, well, I will target Buttercup with Holana and Elena, making this a 13-13, which is still too small. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think I could attack you. Good. <laughs> exactly what I want to hear. Um, yeah, I will not attack anyone. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 And then I will tap this for black and this for white. And I will play Jarena, Dauntless Bodyguard. When Jarena, Dauntless Bodyguard enters the battlefield, I get to exile target player's graveyard. You have the biggest graveyard in Ego, so I'm going to <laughs> exile your graveyard Not so you can't swords. get that sword back. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and I'll pass. And then I draw a card. Yay, because I'm still the monarch. I think it's time to perform a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was the one that hired you. Please. Do you want to go back to where I found you? Unemployed? <laughs> in <No>. Greenland? <laughs> you're not, you're not going to have a choice in this because I'm going to pay one, two, three, four, and I'm going to play Gaia Drone Dihada. <sighs> This Planeswalker uh, has protection from permanence with corruption counters on them. I can plus one. Each opponent loses two life and I gain two life and I put a corruption counter on something. Or I can minus three. Gain control of target creature or Planeswalker until end of turn. Untap it. Put a counter on it. It gains haste until end of turn. Veggie just had to bring out Greya Drone. Just had to just had me. Me. And steal me with me. That is indeed a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be a miracle. I'd like to minus three and target an ego. <laughs> oh, thanks. There is hope. I'm going to go to combat. And <laughs> I wish there was a way I could get this through, but I don't I don't think so. So instead, uh, I'm going to send four creatures at you in ego okay and i'm gonna send you at buttercup <laughs> wait you're sending wait what oh! but i can block it you can you can because you don't have a rogue's passage i don't that's great that's great cool i like that so on that attack since all my creatures have uh dethroned these will these will get a counter each i'll draw four cards yeah all right so now as you were uh, I will block uh, Inigo with Queen Marquesa. I will not block. Not block. Wow. You know, hey, I'll take it. Okay, so before uh, damage is dealt, I'll sacrifice Drina to make all of my uh, humans indestructible mm-hmm. until end of turn. So uh, Inigo will do a whole lot of nothing on this double strike except for die. Yeah, get stabbed mm-hmm. and die. <laughs> and I go to fourteen. Mm-hmm. It's like a sword fight. Right? Here, you can have this. Yeah. We're all um, well, equally uh-huh. back and forth. <laughs> On my second main phase, I'm going to pay two. I'm going to play Spawning Pits of Despair. No. <clears throat> spawning Pit uh, I, is an artifact. <laughs> I can sacrifice a creature, put a charge counter on it, and then I can pay one and remove two charge counters from it to make a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice the Iron Apprentice. It's going to put uh, some counters onto Max. I'm going to sacrifice Danny Pink, and then I'll pass to my end step. Both of these will return. Oh my gosh. Ah. And this comes in with a counter. And then I'll resolve Braids' ability, and I will sacrifice the Iron Apprentice again, put a counter on Danny Pink, draw a card from this trigger, and each of you needs to decide to either sacrifice a creature or artifact, or lose two life, and I draw a card. I will lose two life. I will lose two life! Woo! <laughs> I'm going to draw two more cards. You're touching too many cards. For you. <sighs> uh, uh, I'm, and I'm, I'm just going to discard a bunch of lands and pass the turn. All right. I don't have much, but what I do have is some cards in my hand that will let me borrow some of my opponent's creatures. And if I wait for the right moment, then I can use their stuff to take them out of the game. Do I think it'll work? It'll take a miracle. I could have helped with this problem. I will cast Urza Saga. Urza Saga gains tap, add a colorless on the first one. On the second one, Urza Saga's gain two, tap, creating zero, zero colorless construct artifact creature token with this creature gets plus one, plus one for each artifact creature, for each artifact you control. And the third one is search your library for an artifact card with mana cost zero or one, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. 
desperate attempt, <laughs> I will go ahead and do dueling rounds. Now is the time for dueling rounds. Dueling rounds enchantment. No more than one creature may attack each turn. No more than one creature may block each turn. I have something going for Ruining me. Ruining all my plans. Good. What? <laughs> Ruining your plans with a single giant trampling? Yes. <laughs> oh, it has tra- Oh, yeah. it has trample. Yeah. Oh. It's, she just has a very inflated ego. Mm-hmm. This really is really all <laughs> Okay, I will go ahead and tap Exotic Orchard to go ahead and play. Sigarda's Aid. Uh, I may cast aura and enchantment spells as though they had flash whenever equipment enters the battlefield under my control. I may attach it to target creature I control. Oh, no. I will not take advantage of the flash and instead pay three to cast a sword of sinew and steel. No. Equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from black and from red. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, destroy up to one target planeswalker and up to one target artifact. And with it entering with Sigarda's aid, I will go ahead and task, attach it to Esper Sentinel. No. Did you pass? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Untap. I'll play Minas Tirith for land. I will enter the battlefield tapped unless you control a legendary creature, and I have a few of those, so we're, we're good. And I can tap it to add white, or I can pay uh, one colorless and one white to tap it and draw a card, but I can only activate it if I've attacked with two or more creatures this turn. And I cannot attack with two or more creatures this turn. <laughs> but let's go ahead and move to combat. That seems like the best course of action mm. at this time. Target Buttercup with Helana and Elena, so it gets another plus two. Where's my nine? Where, where's, where's, there's my nine. So 15, it's a 15, 15. <laughs> um, and I am going to send Buttercup at Inigo. Mm-hmm. And my attacking creature will get a uh, plus one, plus one because of Inti. A 16, 16. Let me discard Adeline Resplendent Cathar. And yeah, six, 16, 16 trample damage. And I exile the top card of my library. Uh, which is Patriarch's Bidding. Oh, yikes. Yeah, 16, 16 with Trample. Yeah, I, there's, there's nothing I can do. (laughs) (laughs) I die. (laughs) The turn has tabled. You Uh killed my Wesley. I will die. (laughs) (laughs) Just like in the movie. (laughs) Well. This is such a good reenactment. Oh yeah, absolutely. It is down line to you, per line, and it word is down per to word me. Accuracy. <laughs> I'm no match for you physically, but you're no match 16. for my brains. <laughs> I hope. I like how Veggie's just all characters we did not use. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, Ma- Miracle Max has one scene. I only have so much to work with. So I will tap five mana, all Wooberg, to activate Buttercup, and I will find a legendary spell. All right, so I have fetched, if I can get it right, Avacyn's Memorial, which is a legendary artifact. It has indestructible, and uh, other legendary permanents that I control have indestructible. So pretty much my entire board state, minus my lands, are indestructible. Incredible. (laughs) And uh, I will pass, and so at the end step, I will draw a card because I am still the monarch. How have you kept that forever? No one has attacked How me. are we supposed to hit through this? <laughs> I coulda. Okay, so I have Fezzik in hand, so my plan is the next turn, after I smash through with all these, well, probably just Buttercup, um, I I play Fezzik, and then I just sacrifice Buttercup to Fezzik and just yeet her massive damage to Veggie's face, and I, I win. I got this. I got this. Uh, At the end of your turn, I will pay one, activate spawning pit, remove two counters, and make a two-two, and then think about my life. (laughs) It's perfect. Oh, I'm very concerned. (laughs) (laughs) He's a sad spawn. What is that? It's a spawn, you know. Your typical Imagine the Gathering spawn. It makes me uncomfortable. (laughs) (laughs) Looks like my paralysis demon. (laughs) I'm going to pay six. And I'm going to cast Mob Rule. I choose one. I either gain control of all creatures with power four or greater until end of turn, uh, and they gain haste, or gain control of all creatures with power three or less until end of turn, they gain haste. I'm going to gain control of all creatures uh, with power three or less until end of turn. Just everything? Everything except for Buttercup. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I am still going to uh, tap Lauren, Mm -hmm. so we'll both draw a card. Great. 
I'm gonna just grab all these real quick. Just and grab these. Greedy little fingers. Oh, yeah. Touching so many cards. <laughs> touching our cards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go to combat. Uh, Helena and Elena are going to put two counters onto uh, the spawn. And I will get to draw. <laughs> I'll get to draw cards uh, from Danny Ping, uh, and then just everything. Everything's coming at you uh, for a good bit more than twenty-seven. I also get mentor. I also get inti. Um, I. You can just tell me Stealing if you don't. Stealing my creatures and using them against me is cruel and cowardly. <laughs> <laughs> for sixty-five bucks, it's the job you get. <laughs> good game. 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 <laughs> I'm no longer the princess bride. Yes. You are. You caused a divorce. <laughs> My opponents fell victim to one of the classic blunders, the most famous of which is never get into a land war in Zendikar. But only slightly less well known is never go in against the Grixis player when death is on the line. <laughs> Special thank you to today's episode sponsor, the Nerd Gear Kickstarter. Now, if you guys liked these Commander Essential trays that you saw featured on today's episode, you have seven days from when we release this episode. March 18th is the deadline for you to kick this Kickstarter and get your very own Commander Essentials kit. There'll be a link in the description and down below pinned in the comments. It felt great using all of their stuff today from the uh, custom acrylic dice and life counter to the professionally manufactured and finished commander tray. So again, a uh, big thank you to Nerd Girl. Oh, it's Nerd Gear. I think we need to re-record this. Damn it, Veggie. <laughs> we indeed, all just indeed. roll up in our costumes, the Dutch roping like, do we have a deal for you? <laughs> <laughs> They'll probably call the cops with the way we look. <laughs> I can't believe he just stole my creatures and then used them against me. Like, I had that. I had that. So rude. He really is just full of miracles. Farm boy, fetch me that land. Wesley will come for me. Next up, we'd like to welcome Tales of Adventure or TOA Magic to the Decked Out family. Tales of Adventure has an unbeatable selection of magic singles, from your everyday standard staples to the most premium cards that you can imagine. And if you use code decked out at checkout for the month of March, you get 8% off of your order. And from then on after March, it's still 5% off. So we hope you guys will join us in welcoming TOA Magic to the family and make sure you use code decked out at checkout. You can find a link and that code down below in the description. I'm holding my cards up to them. <laughs> <laughs> that game was awesome. Everybody got to do something and I was getting a little flooded with options. I was really trying to go for that really funny poison counter thing because I had a card that would have allowed me to do a second combat and thus proliferating everybody up to 10. It's a little ridiculous and I went for it and it kind of cost me the game, but that's commander for you. Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my commander. Prepare to die. Hello, my name is Freddie Mercury. Hello, my name is Pedro Pascal. I'm your daddy now. Hello, it's me, Mario. It was me, Z, all along. <laughs> Ultimate Guard is the industry leader in TCG accessories. We love their stuff and we know you will too. In fact, every single playmat sleeve or deck box featured on this show is an Ultimate Guard product. So make sure to use the link in the description to support our channel and treat yourself to some amazing upgrades. That actually kind of hurt, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I definitely didn't see a Rogue's Passage being played. I could have put all my poison counters onto one player, but honestly, everybody was looking pretty explosive. I think I needed to get some poison on everybody so that way the proliferate in my deck wouldn't be dead. But next time I know, kill an ego first. All right, you put down your rock, I'll put down my sword, and then we'll try to kill each other like civilized people. I wouldn't want to build a summer home here, but the trees really are quite lovely. Moxfield is the best deck list site available. It has everything you need to customize, compare, and collaborate. View and brew the way that works for you. Moxfield is the only way that we can track and share all of our spiciest builds here on the show and whatever Veggie is playing. 
Make sure to follow our Moxfield profile in the link in the description. I would sooner break a stained glass window than kill such an artist. <laughs> something, something? Is that close? Something, something? I feel like that was close. <laughs> I don't know if that was exactly I right. I'm there. sorry. I think the original quote was about Buttercup's boobs, so... <laughs> <laughs> what? And there is nothing better than true love. Except maybe a good MTG. You know, when you get the soul ring and the arcane signet on turn one. <sighs> yes, she's about to stab herself and he's like, there's a shortage of... Uh, perfect breasts in this world no the qu oh. that quote is with at the end of our duel when anigo oh, is like on yeah, his knees okay. and he's like just get it over with and he's Sorry, like I, no. just, I only had one thing on my mind <laughs> thank you again to decked out patron whale for supporting the show and submitting sis a weather like captain for today's episode it is patrons like you that keep the show running and we really appreciate your support and thanks to the support of patrons like you we're gonna get to go weekly starting in april so special thank you to all of you who have supported. And if you would like to unlock some exclusive perks and become a part of the show, make sure you head on over to our Patreon, get some spell table games with us, monthly signed tokens from our guests and cast, and you can even submit your own deck list for us to play here on the show. And of course, you can always support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. That's all that we've got for you for today. We'll see you next time on Decked Dead Out. <laughs>